This video is going to be about how to format a USB 3.0 120 gigabyte sand disk ultralight drive to format it to a FAT32 which is a universal format or known as a universal format. Uh, not very many things use it no more but the FAT32 format will pretty much work with any sort of uh, uh, operating system especially your older operating systems like SP or whatever but it would also work with the newer operating systems too like for example if uh, if you have a 2014 Ford Escape or any other sort of vehicle that has the uh, USB drive in it and where you uh, and music on this here you can uh, play it in that vehicle and be able to listen to music when you put this in the computer, the 2.0 USB drives still allow the FAT32. Okay, when you have the uh, USB 3.0 128 gigabyte, if that's the same model we, or same one you're using, I am. I'll go up here to this PC. I'm using Windows 10, so some of this will be different. I've, I have other videos showing how to uh, get this PC to show up on Windows 10. Hell, I'll do a quick demonstration. If you don't have this PC, then uh, just go ahead and uh, right click, go to personalize, right click anywhere on the desktop screen, then go to themes, desktop icons, and then this PC will be there. That USB drive, of course, is a 128 gigabyte one. Normally, I haven't actually seen it. I've done formatted this to FAT32 with the method I'm fixing to show you and the website you'll need to go to to find it uh, you'll right click on it go to format and then see it only shows as XFAT and NTFS FAT because originally uh, FAT32 wasn't supposed to be able to go beyond 32 gigabytes I think it was but I've already formatted this in FAT32 with the software I downloaded but going through the normal method of trying to uh, uh, format this into FAT32 since it's over 32 gigabytes, it will not show up this way. So you'll need to go to uh, this website here, uh, FAT32-format.en.softonic.com. And I'll bring you to a, or a page like this, FAT32 format. You'll then go to free download. Uh, first off, this is the rest of what the page will look like. And it will give you some information also on FAT32 formatting. So it might be useful to kind of read it. But uh, anyway, you'll go right here to free download. Then go down here to alternative download right here. And I'll go to save file. And I'm using a, a Mozilla Firefox web browser, so my web deal will probably be a little bit different. If you're using Mozilla Firefox, then you can go over here to this here and open it up. And then it'll be this GUI format. Click on it. And then go to Yes. And it'll pop up with this. I'd suggest doing the uh, full format rather than quick format. If you've already got a format that's going to erase the stuff, so I would suggest uh, not putting anything on there, going through the full format. Don't do the quick format, just do full format so you don't check that box. And depending on how big, so, and the reason why I got one that small was so I didn't have something bulky uh, sticking out of my USB drive in my 2014 Ford Escape vehicle. But before you do this formatting, and if you was to put it in a 2014 Ford Escape a USB drive, it would uh, it would eventually come up as unsus unsupported device, and that's because the uh, format that uh, this device is originally in is not supported by the uh, uh, the USB drive in the vehicle in my vehicle. And it's probably the same way with uh, all the other vehicles that have a USB drive in it. 
this is what my media part looks like in my 2014 Ford Escape. So, and that right there is going to be where it goes. Right there, see, it's hardly even noticeable. And I wouldn't have to worry about accidentally hitting. Like, for example, if I was to have this here in there. That's pretty long. Deal with the scene. See, now it's showing up. You can go to uh, menu, sync device, uh, media menu, select source, sync USB. And since it's already synced to it, I won't have to worry about initialize, initiating. But uh, the video on how to actually put music on here, I'll link it.